What is more summery than having mussels served in cider with some thyme and some creme fraiche? Sounds great, but hold on, there's no R in the month. The old saying was, if there's an R in the month, uh, you can have shellfish. If there's not, you shouldn't have it. These mussels are farmed all year round. They're lovely and fresh, a great summer snack. What I need to do is I need to cook them quickly because I want them all to cook very fast, and then I need to simmer the sauce. So what I'm gonna to do to begin with is pop on my pan. My pan's gonna heat up, and into that I'm gonna put the ingredients for my sauce. I get some lovely dry cured streaky bacon, some shallots, I better chop those up, and um, that's basically it. This is another very quick, very easy, but very tasty dish. When I was looking at my mussels earlier on, I threw away all the ones that wouldn't shut when I tapped them, because that means they're dead, and you don't want to cook dead mussels. They go in alive, and I know it sounds awful, but that's the way of the world. That is my preparation completed. Right, my pan is now warm. So into that, I'm going to put my butter and my bacon. First of all, the butter, sizzling away. Quick stir, in goes the bacon. I'm gonna cook this for a couple of minutes. That'll bring the fat out of the bacon, and it's all buttery, and it's fatty, and it's bacony. Now, when that's had a couple of minutes, I've got this on high heat at the moment, because what I want to do is render out all the fat and get this as the basis for my sauce. Right, shallots are ready to go in. Just transfer them to my little bowl, make it easy for me. I'm gonna be putting thyme in this. Now, when it comes to thyme, you get a little bunch of thyme, a little sprig like this. The bottom end's very woody. I want the bit that's not woody. The easiest way to do it is just to pull. And what you pull off is the bits that are tender. So these are all tender, I'll just add those in. And I break them by hand, I don't need to chop this up because it's all gonna dissolve and disintegrate into it. A Couple of nice sprigs in there. Thyme, need a bay leaf. Look at that. This is hot, it's cooking away. Shallots, thyme, and a bay leaf. In they go. Let that soften for a second. Right. This isn't difficult cooking. What I need to do now is I want these to open quickly when they go in. So I need a lot of heat. It's on maximum heat here. This is hot. So I'm going to put a little bit of cider in. I could put some armagnac in now if I wanted. That gives it extra body, but um, cider's great by itself. And I'll use about a third of this. Here we go. About a third. Now that's already come to the boil. So in go the mussels. Lid on. Quick shake. We'll give it a couple of minutes so it all cooks through. The mussels are cooked. They're bubbling away. Let's get these on the go. Here we go. Oof. I'll just shut this down. The mussels are done, but I haven't made my sauce yet. So what I need to do is... Oh, that smells good. I'm gonna whip out the mussels. Look at this. Well, I'm gonna whip out most of the mussels here. It's one of those dishes that you can't rush when you eat it because there's so much work to be done. But it's definitely worthwhile. Right, that'll be enough of those on there. To keep it warm for a second or two. I'll just pop this on top. Yeah, I'll keep it warm. Now, what I've got left, I'm gonna put onto the simmer side, because I don't want it to be too hot. I'm gonna add my creme fraiche to that and stir it in, and that's my sauce done. So as soon as this comes up to heat, it's ready to eat. Creme fraiche in. I've got on the hot side as much heat as I need, but when I need a gentle heat, it's not a matter of adjusting the knobs, it's adjusting where you actually put your pan. And do you wanna know something? 20 seconds, that's done. There's a little gentle bit of bubbling going on there. Right. Steam coming off my muscles. I've got my sauce. I'm gonna pour some over. Whenever you have something like this, you need a big lump of bread to do is taste the sauce first, and it's in here. 
So I've got cider, creme fraiche, some streaky bacon, some shallots, some thyme. Real taste of the sea, you can taste the mussels in there. No. That's nice, that's very nice indeed. Here we go, use this to pull out a mussel. Cook to perfection, and there's just so many. And maybe some time, but the recipes are on the website or in the Made at Home books.